billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. Mm. Oh. Happy day, I am glue! <laughs> and today I am playing the beginner's guide. I'm super excited because it's from the maker of the Stanley Parable. So I'm hoping it's very philosophical and existential and makes me just kind of have a crisis of some sort. That would be very cool. Hi there. Hi. Thank you very much for playing the beginner's guide. It is my pleasure, my is even Davey though I haven't played. Uh -huh. I wrote the Davey? Stanley Parable. Yeah. And while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008, 2008 and, 2011. and 2011. Okay, sure. For sure. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named, named Coda. Coda. Now, these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time a when nice I was voice. really struggling with some personal stuff. Huh. And his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. I love this already. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. Mm -hmm. It's a level for Counter-Strike. Cool. You can walk around here, by the way. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. What's what up I with like that? Is that even though What's he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town, uh -huh. he then scatters these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. Yeah, I see of that. Of course, it destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town, <laughs> and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. Cool. So, it's 2008, Coda starts making these games, and he never releases any of them. He doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them and they sit on his computer forever. Uh, and I think he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Hmm. Uh, at one point he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. So, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Until suddenly one day, he just... Stop. Why do the most talented people do this? Why do they hide their stuff from it. us? He made his last game and then he hasn't made another one since. No! And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. Good it's on because ya. I find his games Show powerful and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe cool. encourage him to start creating again. Create more! And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. Okay. As his first one was made in November 2008. This is such a cool concept. Oh my goodness, I can't even... Yeah. Ooh. It's like... Oh! Oh! It's so like very, very small little corridors. I'm a little this bit game anxious. This called Escape from Whisper. Uh -huh. And it's one of the more ah. generic games you'll see from Coda. Maybe I should save my bullets. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Intense. Oh, I can't go through it here. It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid-development. Hmm. But ultimately, we don't really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. And I think that we should talk about his games for what they are rather than for what they're not. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, let's go. Cool. I love how you can see the bottom of the universe. Me too. Room. The Milky Way. Right? It's the Milky Way? Uh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, what is this, a fucking maze? Apparently, this space station has a labyrinth on it. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just going to skip you on past it. Okay. Oh. That was nice of him. Okay, this is the part that's interesting. Yeah, okay, okay. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine uh -huh. and how it has to be turned off, do, and then you do, get to the engine do, room. Do. Oh. Hey, Hi. Hey, you there, in the engine room. Mm -hmm. You could save us all. How? That beam is powering a whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough mm. signature. Mm -hmm. If you, your body could stop the beam. My buddy? It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Would I sacrifice would myself for all of you? Uh, okay. Seems like the right thing to do. Let What's me pause on? here for a second. Okay. What you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. Okay. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. What? So I'll go in again, I suppose? <gasps> okay. 
That's a bug? Whoa! There's the labyrinth. The There's where I started. To start floating. That's and even better. this is an important moment for him. Wow. Because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Like yeah. how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, yeah. I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking. But Watch what's call. clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. So cool. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. Cool. Oh, wow. That was really cool. I can't wait to see more. Oh my goodness. What? Are you stupid? Okay. This is... I can't walk. Can I... What? Okay. Uh? Yep. In this game, you can only walk backwards. Oh. 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 The past was behind her. Sweet. Oh, this is so such a cool idea. So it's a short and but the relatively future could not be minimalist seen. experiment wow. combining motion and narrative. Why does the future keep changing? It is less advanced changing? than the previous game, but actually it seems to be more focused. Wow, more that is complete. so cool. Okay. Code is trying to give it what a else? unique what voice else? rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. When she stops and looks, it becomes clear. Look at that stairwell, though. Gorgeous. Hmm. But if the future is always behind her... How will she find the strength <sighs> to confront it? Wow. It's a short so little cool. thought. It says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't yeah. need anything more than that. So cool. It's like what gaming should be all about. It's just exploring different ideas, different little universes. Hmm. You are now entering. What? What am I entering? What am I entering? What am I entering? Ah, 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 ah. And that's it. OK, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. Okay. I'm so happy Oftentimes, I'm doing this Koda right now. Oftentimes, put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. Oh. I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. Wow. It was dead to him. Look at that. And I don't agree with that at all, but... What are you gonna do? Yep, smart people are, always have a lot of anxiety about their work. But this guy seems... Oh, I'm going slower. Hmm. Running out of oxygen up here! Oh! Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if Code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Huh. Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. Let us go. What's in here? It's down on an X staring at a bear for three hours. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can whoa, 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 whoa. Live on a boat, taking a orders from the captain. Warm the captain is always wrong. And nice. Filled with little ideas for games. Ideas for games. <gasps> cool. You run a shop inside your own body, selling your organs strategically to make the most money before Coda you die? Coda would often tell me that he didn't mind cool. if people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. Can this guy be my best it friend? It can be a very slow climb to get there. Wow. Oh, this guy needs to be my best friend. <laughs> He's so cool. Too cool for me, actually. But wow. He seems like an actual anomaly, like an actual prodigy. I still want it to end, ever. I hope it's like 16 hours long, that would be sweet. I'm so happy I went in blind too, like, so cool, so cool. Now, what do we have here? Well, this is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Let us see. Can I jump up? No, nope, I'm stuck down here. Hopefully, uh, this is all I need to solve this puzzle. I'm gonna try to close the door behind me. Just gotta wind up. Gonna wind up, gotta get my, gotta stretch my knees. Okay, one, two. Buckle my shoe, ah! Yeah, yeah. I did it, right? Or am I just fucking stuck in here? Don't forget that solution because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. Well, that was- We're gonna see it a lot. Oh, okay. So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple uh -huh. enough. 
All right. Then what? Now I'm going to modify the game again so that when you press enter, press enter. it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. So, yeah. uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Can I jump? Either no. way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? To have fun, I suppose. Oh, here we are again. That's so spooky, you are now exiting. Aha. Uh -huh. So this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. Huh. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in. Some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. Sounds a lot like Stanley. I totally see where he got his Stanley from. It's so cool. Wow. It's like heaven in a little cabin. Let's talk about video game development for a second. Yes, please. Every video game runs on what's called an engine which determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. Ooh. One of the things that it does very well <laughs> is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what oh, the engine does. Oh, 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 mommy! Oh, no, 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 no. The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. Oh. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear, boxy corridors. Wow. This is like where horses go, right? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Hmm, should I go in here or should I go that this way? This prison, funny eh. enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. Wow. If you don't I mind, feel like I Stanley was inspired by this heavily. Hey guys. Here, Coda begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. You cannot help us escape this prison. You are not the one I need. Surely there will be someone else. So I am not the protagonist. I've just been kicked out of being the protagonist, which I think is super interesting. Anything else? They just rejected me. These games have such a lonely atmosphere to them. Like, I feel like they're not very social and they wouldn't have mass appeal for that reason. Like, they're just very, uh, for the person who wants to think about stuff and experience stuff rather than the person who just wants to go doo -doo 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 -doo. An apartment complex or a maybe a school or maybe it's a okay, lamppost. I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. Okay. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination, which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. Good night. This game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see are left by other players. I'm saying some chocolate. <laughs> Tastes so much better than the wrapper. Okay. Bloop. Nice room. Not nah. dick. What are you gonna say? You over there? What do you have to so say? So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're gonna see have been written by. No point Coda. to this. Uh, oh. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game oh. jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level. 
and it was Whoa, just holy shit. so different yeah, from me anything too. that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, Hello. I think I was probably a bit too bushy trying to get his attention. Uh, Reasonable. I was over enthusiastic. I would be too. But he Fangirl. was very gracious about it and Everyone very reads. patient with me. This place makes me oh, sad. Feel free to skip How? over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. I want to tell you a secret. Once upon a Either time, way, I did. To me, they can be a sense of loneliness. I I'm see the king this of the person world. who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. Huh. I have to be honest with you. This idea is really seductive to me. I could just but get to but... know you through your work. Yeah. I think Ooh. this is why I always liked Dakota's games so much. <laughs> is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. Someday I'll meet the person who made this. You are the person who made this, silly goose. I help people because of the interal good feeling I get. Good. Good for you. Look at all this. Stop. Turn back. Nah. I'm fine with the misery. I can't see how this would be miserable. What about you? What do you have to say? I think this is not going anywhere. I like how he deliberately put typos in there. It's very, very cute. I need someone to talk to. Aww. What about painting? What does it mean? Ah! I don't know. What about you? What about you? Hey guys, how's it going? Just hanging. <laughs> Help! I'm trying to speak! Are you? What are you trying to say? We will all die someday. Yes, we will. Charles Bukowski. Spoilers, it doesn't mean anything. It does, though. It just depends what you're looking for, really. It depends on your perspective. Whoop! I'm here now. We're all here now. We're all. All of us. Together. There must be a reason for it, though. Oh, this, his terrible secret. He kept it well. I beat the game! Is this guy like some sort of tormented soul? What's his problem? Why is he sad? He's so smart. Why At is he sad? At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Please do. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Ah. Downward, keep digging. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. This puzzle have a solution. Oh my god, I've been here for literally an hour. What the fuck do I do? Help! Help! It doesn't make sense. The second door won't open. Open, open, open. Open sesame. Me jumping again at the door. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. It is really cool how you close the door behind you. The whispering in my ears is <laughs> really creepy. What is that now? Is this a typewriter room? How do you leave notes? <gasps> yeah! So this is our destination. The note room. Why did he choose typewriters? Are you there? Please say something. It can be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty speaking? Speak, 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 speak. Ah! Can't wait to see what's next. Porn stars die too. Okay, this one is tough. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Okay. All right. Okay. Ooh, fancy. Fancy pantsy. This guy should be like an interior designer and come to my house, because my house looks like shit. And this looks beautiful. Clean, modern, edgy. Oh, are we back at that place with the signs now? Oh. See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Uh-huh. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. 
And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's going to start over, use the same assets, turn, turn it into something, something else. else. Let's see, okay, let's see. Cool. Here's version two. Okay. So there's just spaces where the furniture used to be. Uh, uh, I don't think there's a door anymore. It's just a prison with a well at the end. This is such a beautiful shot. What furniture ought to go in the center of a room? Have it a TV with surround sound or a refrigerator or put a giant hole in the ground. Let's go with number three. That looks like a table to me. Okay, now what about along the wall of the room? Let's put a huge picture of a horse. I'd really like a washing machine or 10 stoves lined up along the wall. Let's, let's uh, play it safe this time. Let's do the horse number one. And we got chairs. I don't think he cares about what I have to say, but I think we should light up this room a bit, a skylight, or let's just put coils in each corner, number three. And I'm guessing he's not gonna listen, just a lamp. Not a lamp post, but a lamp. And a table, you need a table, we have a table. Tables were invented in 1935, number three. Ah, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, yes, oh yes, 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 indeed. Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. I mean, I think it's cool, it's just like gratuitous. So, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Hello, please walk forward. Okay, this guide will enable you to escape any present environment. Follow the instructions carefully. Take care of you remember each step. First, click on this table. Good, go over to the photo frame and click on it to turn it slightly. Now go to the left sofa and move it over a little. Finally, touch the shelves. That's it! In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Oh, am I supposed to remember all that? Okay. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. See how our memories work for us. If that is even the case in solving this. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Okay, fine. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison oh. is the outside, and the outside is the inside. Let me just uh, oh. blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps this guy going, just goes ham going, every day, going, all day. He never stops. He doesn't know how to and stop. And he hits on something. What does he hit? And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. You know, sometimes the best stuff you make is the stuff that you keep going until you hate yourself. And then after you hate yourself, you come to a conclusion. And it's like, oh, okay, that's cool. So this isn't a prison. It's supposed to be. There's the lamp. Does that mean we're nearing the end? There's no prison, but there's also no escape, is there? Is that a phone booth? Do I get to walk up to him and be like, get off the phone? Haven't you ever heard of the concept of other people? Oh, creepy. Uh, hello, who is this? Hey, it's me, I'm you after you escaped from the prison. Sure, it's the only option. You're me? Yeah, I'm you. See, we're trapped in this prison too. Yep, I was in the furniture mage. Yep, I was in the it's escape tutorial. Yep, I was in the reverse prison. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. This is like real brain, that was a real brain fart. What? That will free me? Oh, it'll free your soul. My young man. Listen, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Just be sincere, it will make sense. Number three. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be nice, wouldn't it? I was getting a little bit like, claustrophobic in that prison, so not gonna lie. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? To me, this Feels environment really is meant to represent Coda's puzzle. With the two doors on either side, 
and a dark transitional space between. Let's see what's in here. Oh, view. Oh, oh. This guy loves his design. Look at that. Gorgeous. Well, my goodness, I'm glad as heck that you showed up. Thought I'd have to clean this entire house all by myself, right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lozy homes. I didn't read that right. Don't worry about me, a You'll place this nice, I'm glad to see here all night. is a step up from previous games, including yeah. this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. Ah. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work. And this particular game took two months to create as a result. This is like a freaking religious experience right now. I, uh, like, I'm on cloud nine. Look how beautiful. Oh. Oh. This legit looks like my bookshelf. Oh, more, more, more. that up for you. Ah, uh, nice. Ooh, look at that. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? How do you end up doing this job? Or it's been a long time since I've seen a house this messy. I'm gonna ask if they enjoy it. Well, I don't enjoy it as much as I need it. While I'm working, I feel kind of calm. That rests in the pit of my ribcage. I'm like trying to see around my microphone right now. My soul just can't be soothed any other way, it seems, which I guess is about all that matters. Oh, and tidy that couch, would ya? All right. Oh dear, looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. All right. I feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. Are you okay with that? Make it especially cheesy, baby. Let's see. What is it? Tell me, tell me. No. What? Come on. It wasn't stupid. No, I hate when people do this to me. No, tell me. Oh! I wish you were a real person so I could be like, tell me. Nothing is too lame. I swear. I won't judge you. Last I checked, the tub needed a cleaning. Okay. I'm just gonna... Be your maid in this game. No need to be perfect, we're all just human. Are there still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? If so, will you put them back on the shelf? Okay. But I like the messy bookshelf look. I think it looks really cool. Oh, that looks all right too. Perfect. Now then, how about you come and clear these dishes off the table? After Dude. the intense set of prison Dude! Games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you. Huh. And eventually cohere into something meaningful. Do these chores ever end? This kind of makes me want to clean the house. Like, wow. Darling, let me tell you something. Whatever work you do, you have absolutely got to own it. Otherwise, it owns you. So why don't we be... So why don't we be with the task at hand and leave the future chores to future you? Present you wants to smooth out the rug in the bedroom, believe it or not. Trust me on this one. Actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Oh, Well, at least it's just a click and then it's clean. Otherwise, I'd be like, ugh. Earlier when I said I had a really cheesy thought, yeah, yeah? I was going to say that it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, and it takes care of you. <laughs> Don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. Well, I mean, that's the kind of thing that I would think and not say either, because it seems like you get people that are like, oh, that's deep, and you're like, fuck you, bitch. I'm not gonna say that shit again. But there's a bit of truth in it, no? Encourage it. Encourage the creativity. You have to. I wish I was this Koda guy's friend so I could just love him. Anyway, so, housekeeping, let's do this. Books, would you please clean up the books? Okay, fuck! I love ya, but... Can't, I'm like, I ain't got all night, you know? I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. Me too. And I'm glad he's designing houses, cause damn! I love this, like, cold, but of modern... Course, it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. Okay. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Oh no, now Again, it's all... you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Okay. Goodbye, house.
house. I'll miss you. It's been fun. It was so peaceful and serene. I really enjoyed it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I'm going to play this again. <laughs> like after. I like it. And there's the end lamppost. Of Which course. is the whole Signature. point of the puzzle. Trademark. Games, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. This one gets a bit goofy. Ah, I'm at lecture. Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? It's because it's what everyone else was doing. Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to become perfect. This workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends and the people in your life to look at you and think, wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Well, does that make you perfect though? Right now, who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you know who is so well developed as a person that they make you feel disgusted with yourself? Compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful. I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is not how we do it, but how we do it effortlessly. Oh, it's the quick fix uh, society. I'm jealous and I want to be perfect and I want you to teach me how to be About perfect. Halfway through the so game, I can be better than people. Shifts. And there's a black hole. This is the key. How do I achieve it with and no effort? And you play effort? as the teacher. And suddenly you discover that your teacher, teacher is, is just as big and as afraid as you are. Ha! <laughs> oh, and also you he can- He sees a black hole. That is so cool. Nice. This guy's seeing a black hole of fear because he's scared too. It kind of looks like an eyeball, actually. Being perfect is effortless. This is the key to how I achieve it with no effort. Well, let me tell you right now, if this isn't effortless, then it's not the right answer. If you are torturing yourself trying to find the right solutions for your life, you are not doing it right. Nothing good takes pain or work. Seek out one thing. What is the easiest, simplest path forward? I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. For sure. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect, perfect and totally and fulfilled. Totally fulfilled in when every really way, they ain't. And completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. I think about it even though I've never played this game, but now I'm going to think about it even more. This one took Ooh. a lot longer than all the others for Stage? Coda to make. Am I an actor? Four months between this and the last one. Na, na, That's na, na, na. twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Big hall. Ah! Welcome to the show. <laughs> Front stage, left. Stage, right, left, center. I don't know those stage directions. <laughs> okay. All right, the performance is beginning. Places, please. In this scene, you'll be playing as me. We are at a gathering of professionals. First, you'll start out leaning against this wall. Just smoking a cigarette, like, yeah. How's it going? Good, stay right there. The woman across the room in the chair is a professional photographer of animals. Oh! It is your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something, to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Um, I'm just gonna say... Hello. Hello. I'm leaning against the wall, trying to look cool, putting out the vibe. Hello? That's a hit? That's not a conversation. You need to actually converse with her. Be a human being. Do it again. Okay, okay. Give me my options then. I like you. That's not a conversation either though. No, 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 that's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. You have to be confident. For some reason, it was just at that moment, but I was confident. Maybe it's that you need a better feel of the setting. There were a lot of people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. Cones that bounce when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Now talk to her again. Okay. You must have really worked hard to get where you are. That seems not bad, right? Oh. You're messing it up again. You'll figure out if the conversation gets personal that quickly. I don't really have games, so I was just kind of like, that seems good. Everything was riding on this. You screwed it up. Okay, try it. Try stepping back from the stage. I miss that backwards walking game. That one was cool. Prison? Okay, yes, now this the is working. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, 
should hide himself away. No! Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't uh, what I wanted for him. But that makes me want to call do? up my friend and be like, After Publish this, your poetry! Went off and Stop took hiding! Five months to make a new game. Mobius trip. To play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Okay, really? All right. Oh, you gotta click. <laughs> my eyes are still closed. I'm gonna open them. Fuck it. Fuck you. I'm just gonna say what's going on. Should my eyes be closed? I feel like... I feel like an asshole now. Someone talk to me, please. What is going... Oh! So is this just like you impending doom? You probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. Okay. And there is a solution, by the way. There is? Okay. Someone get help! I'm blind! Please tell me how to solve this. We're going to crash, aren't we? Please. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, you're gonna get killed by giant door! Ah! All right. We're solving this shit. SS Whisper. Ooh, there's a lamp. Lamp post. Oh shit, here comes the door. Oh man. Okay, I'm just gonna go in here. Truth, buddy, help me out. The only way to stop it is to speak something that is honest. I'm bursting, I can't make these. Uh, I can't keep making these. <laughs> Is that what Koda said? I don't feel it anymore. I'm out of ideas. It's draining me. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So where's that coming from? But then even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like. You know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? This it guy's like a modern-day Picasso. Like, Here was the point in my badass. relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. I'm alone. <laughs> so sad. We're going to be okay. Aww. I'm being cheered up by myself. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Coda! December 2010. Where am I? This reminds me of a really beautiful game I played on VR, and I can't wait to upload it and show you guys because it's fucking beautiful. Um, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. Oh man. This makes me feel the same way that like my favorite music does. And I've never felt that from anything other than music before. Okay. What's wrong? You look lost. I'm completely out of ideas. When I try to create, I feel empty. I have nothing left to give to my work. What do you think that he was thinking? I feel like he's out of ideas. Because the other one just seemed so sad, and I didn't want to didn't want to settle for those. What happened? Did something change? There was a machine that kept me going, and it stopped. Or I'm trying to find this engine that used to protect me to start it again. We'll just go with number one. This kind of looks like a. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, you're looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. It isn't far. Take me to it, please. Fix my pain. If the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations. This one turns it up to 11. Yeah, it does. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Hmm. Why? What is it for? He's doing what he knows. From my perspective at the time and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on.
Yeah. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. Sounds like somebody's crying. Wow. This is so powerful. Okay, um, there's no machine here. You have to say that game development is simple and joyous and that you love it 100% of the time. Um, sure, making games is easy. Ah, that feels wonderful, but it wasn't true. Don't worry about it, just keep talking and saying that creation is easy. When I create games, I feel completely energized. Oh! Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. Looks fucking amazing to me. People to need this. I hated it. I hated seeing him so I needed hard. this. It's like... Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. Every time I make something, I feel better about myself. Perfect. That feels fantastic. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. I promise this will work. Please continue. Whew, okay. Pain breezes effortlessly off of me. Yes, more. Keep know. going. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just... I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. This is getting me in the feels. <laughs> but it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. I'm not like a prodigy in any capacity, but I've felt that so many times and have isolated myself so many times. My friends are a very unique set of people. They're either extremely successful or they didn't quite make it and they're very isolated. And both sides are both brilliant people. It's just what society wants, what society is demanding of you. And I feel like society doesn't really have an appreciation for this guy's games. And that's why it's so cool that the maker of Stanley's Parable is like, no, like it's really cool. We shouldn't only be looking for one thing from games. We should be looking to see through somebody else's eyes. And that's why this game has been amazing and so important to me so far. Um, I don't know if that made sense or not, but we're gonna continue. What's this? There's a guard guarding my... I can still get it though, right? No? Ma'am, glad to see you arrived safely. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be <laughs> brutal. Very good. Just be warned that someone called the press. We might have a bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. Oh! Oh, it's the press! Oh, it's the popper. Oh, I'm Justin Bieber. What are your next actions? Where did you find the machine? All right, assholes. Can I shoot you? <laughs> Go away. Nobody likes you. Nobody cares. Go fuck yourself. You? You're cool. You're just holding the uh, the old dead cat over there. Ugh. These guys are giving me anxiety. And of course, Ooh. it's the machine. Bum? It's the machine. Do we have bumps? It's the machine. I stopped. Or you stopped. Your work was keeping us alive. Those people out there, can you imagine what pain you've put them through? It was only because of your creations that any of us could make it through every day. How can we possibly go back to trusting you to do this job? Number three. Um, I've been so alone. I'm so lonely. Apologize for leaving me. You left me here. You stupid machine! Ah! Think carefully, I know how to hurt you. Oh, I just love the atmosphere that these games create. It's so like, it's so immersive that it's actually like having a visceral reaction. Oh, you guys, you assholes again. Oh, it's a spotlight. I'm ready for the show. I'm ready for my close up. My followers or my friends. I'm gonna call you my f followers because you are the press, so. It falls on me to deliver bad news, or I have a troubling revelation. I'm gonna say number two, because it's a lot more epic. 
but this is not important. We are stronger than it thinks we are. We will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. Let us show it that we are not failures. Follow me this way. We will destroy the machine. Yeah, let's go. go. Oh, the door closed. Yeah. Oh, it's the stage again. Time for the show. Look at all those seats though. Oh. Oh, I'll kill you all! Fuck you, nosebleeds. You can't even see anyway. I don't even know why you're here. Why'd you pay for tickets? And you, you rich bastards in the front. Fuck you. Can I shoot the press? So now the work is becoming self-destructive. Ah and I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head and that it's having a very negative effect on him and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. Yeah. To get some actual feedback on his games, it might get him out of isolation. If yeah. he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations Huge with difference. other human beings, this is beings, so important. Would that bring him out of his mental spiral? This is amazing. Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? I think that it's so important to not discourage people from following their dreams, and if you like it, to be like, "Hey, this is awesome," because you never know who's a coda out there. You never know. Oh, oh, I can shoot the floor. Oh! So I started showing Coda's work to people. I Thank took this you. One and I love the you. The which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape game. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all was just to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. It's the machine and the lamp. Put down your weapon. Oh, oopsies. Sorry. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Oh, for sure. Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. Well, you are good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. Aww. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When maybe. they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautiful. What's going on? Ah! Um. What? Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. Hmm. Just needed time, so this maybe? This is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. And so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. Okay, I was worried. <laughs> this one is called The Tower. And to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Mm. So let's take a look. Coda, baby, come back. We love you. I need to look into this because this is like 2011 and it's kind of almost 2016 now. Why do I feel like I've been here before? It must just be like the similar design. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels mm. like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's trying to be inaccessible. It's a very cold game. Cool. This is why it's so cool to understand like the background behind something because it adds just so much more depth and richness to it. If you just played this not knowing what it was, you'd be like, okay, go fuck yourself. Whereas knowing what this guy was going through just makes it beautiful. Makes it this stunning. This actually has a maze in it. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Okay, okay. Ah! All right. That's so, that's so cool. The hostility towards, ah, okay, okay, fuck it. Enter. Great, let's go. It's so like emotionally and to be fair, It's not like this heavy. is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Mm -hmm. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. <laughs> oh, really? I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. Mm -hmm. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? I wonder what he was like, what made him happy when he made the house cleaning thing? Like, why was he in a good mood and, and what happened? How, how did he lose that? 
The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six digit code. What? Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. Hmm. It doesn't ask anything of me except a lot of my time. One of the if Stanley endings does that too. This time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. Okay. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Oh, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, shit, ass, cunt. Okay, I'm a little slow. All right, how, I wonder how long this would take to actually figure out the code if you didn't know. That's a lot of digits. That would take forever. But there's more after this one, too. Like, he's basically just doing these to express himself because he doesn't, he's like, fuck you, gamer. This is just kind of, oh, hi. This is just kind of what I'm doing right now. And the noises he adds, like, in the background are so just anxiety-inducing. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. What? So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. That's aggressive. It's scary for me. The idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it. That's the end of the conversation. Not giving me any way to fix the problem. Huh. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. But I can open this door for you, so let me do that. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Was I a failure for not understanding this game? I mean, I, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution. But I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed. And I don't understand why. Well, I mean, everyone wants to know the answer. Everyone wants to know why we're here. Every remember, everyone wants to find a June meaning to something. It's 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time. Mm -hmm. And as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. Uh, I have no idea who this person is. I feel like this game is I a logical part of the so progression of this guy's thought process. Tell me what his games mean to him. What do you say? I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. Wow. Man, this Koda guy's so cool. That's not to like glorify his suffering, but man, he's cool. <laughs> Just seems like the coolest guy. So complex, so talented, so much to offer. Reminds me a lot of somebody that I used to know. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. Hmm. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Where did I screw up? You didn't, buddy. Dear Davey, thank you for your interest in my games. I need to ask you not to speak to me anymore. Wow. I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> It felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. The people who played them, they treated me like I was important. Hmm. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... You're proud of it? I felt good about myself. Finally. Huh. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. You found something you connected with, you wanted to share it, and, uh... You kind of rode on it a little bit. You've so infected my personal space that it's possible I did begin to plant solutions in my work somewhere hidden between games. If there was an answer or meaning, would it make you any happier? Would you stop taking my games and showing them to people against my wishes? Giving them something that isn't yours to give, violating the one boundary that keeps me safe? Didn't know that was a question till the end. Would you stop changing my games, stop adding lampposts to them? Would you simply let and then them you be stopped, what they are? And I didn't have anything left to show people. Huh. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. 
You were like Scooter Braun and your Justin Bieber quit on you. What does that mean? Oh. When I'm around you, I feel physically ill. You desperately need something and I cannot give it to you. I literally do not have it. Wow, this is fucking sweet, man. Struggling to come up with new ideas is not making me depressed. Low points are just a part of the process. Amen to that. The fact that you think I'm frustrated or broken says more about you than about me. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I realize this doesn't make sense to you just yet, which is fine, you're not my problem to solve. But I do hope that one day it clicks and that you make peace with this thing you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. Huh. When you finally see what I'm talking about, don't say anything. Damn. This is so fucking cool! Oh, yeah. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work. Is to say, because fuck I you. haven't no. been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. Hmm. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because mm. I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your yeah, work. Yeah, it's a little ironic. I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. Hmm. I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. He's a great narrating voice. I'm fading. And all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. It's a Stanley style now. What now? Something, please. Don't leave me hanging. Thank you. That's a weird place to start, just staring at the roof. Beauty. Look at that. More, 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 more. More love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Whatever do you mean, my good sir? I'm a little confused as to what's going on right now. I almost feel like the narrator and Coda like are very similar to each other. Maybe they could even be the same person. Or, I don't know, like just the irony of him showing someone's games against his will is very like, doesn't seem, doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem correct. I can't wait to see just how this wraps up, because I'm truly, truly confused. Ah, oh, there's the way, it's open. Okay, let's go inside this boxcar and try to find the answer. Because this has been a very, very cool, emotional experience. And I just can't wait. Ooh, luxurious. Such lonely music. Solution, solution, solution. What is the solution? Not a cloud in the sky. It's a nice day as well. Oh shit, wrong way. Oh fuck, oh, there we go. Why was that so confusing for me? I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was Yeah, depressed. I mean, you can't go around doing that. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Or maybe he's scared of attention. That's the case in a few uh, situations that I've heard of. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. Well, I wouldn't say you're shitty. I mean, you meant well. What happened in here? Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh I see. Okay. What about here? <gasps> Can't seem to... Ah, okay. Oh. Ooh. Another um, environment that gives me a little claustrophobia. If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? Mm. <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. I feel like every good person wants to be useful. So, I mean, you were just trying to be useful. You weren't trying to be a piece of shit, <laughs> like you're thinking that you were. 
This kind of looks like... Nah, it doesn't. I was gonna say it kind of looks like those Mario 64 like slides, but... Not really. Not a whole lot. What now? I don't know, you just lost your friend. I think I need to go. I think so too. And... I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. Huh? I have a lot that I need to make up for, and so I'm... You can't just bail! Just gonna... I'm not gonna be able to find my way out of here! You leave me in the scariest place? Okay. Hmm? Is he gone? Did he just check out? Oh no 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 no! Am I gonna be stuck in prison town forever? Hmm. What's in here? Can I jump? Jump down? Yeah! -hoo! The floor seems to be rising, and then maybe I can go through that door. This music's bumming me out. <laughs> here we are. Low ceilings. Hey, we're back! Right? We've been here before. How pretty. Oh. He would leave for, like, the long, lonely, scary hallway. Is that that laser beam, you know, the one I stood in before and like flew up to the universe? That would be cool. Pretty little ending. I don't know. Here it is. It's the beam. Cassie was right. Amazing. Let us float. Ah! Hopefully I don't die. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh. I was hoping for like something scenic. Space. Yeah. Oh whoa. Oh whoa. This looks like a nightmare I've had. Just like, overwhelming. It never ends, it never stops. Just like wave after wave of... infinity. Look at that. Uh, ah! Why do we want to feel important when we're just such tiny little small insignificant little specks? He better not leave us hanging without an answer. For our... This project would not have been possible without the following individuals. Blank. He left us without an answer. Well, that was the beginner's guide. It was everything that I hoped for, and it was totally made by the maker of the Stanley Parable because that was amazing. If you know anything else about this game or if there's anything I missed, please let me know below. And also, if you liked this game, please give it one of these. And make sure you subscribe to give that gloomy, it's extra gloomy today, subscribe button a bit of a pick-me-up. I will see you guys very soon. Bye.